yeah, it's snowing. Uh, it probably started snowing about, I don't know, quarter to two, two o'clock this afternoon. Um, my car was covered in snow when I left work at half past two. And it was a little bit of a, it's, it's settling. Um, the roads are quite slushy. So it was, it took, you know, everyone thankfully was very careful on the, you know, on the drive home. Yeah, I wonder how that, long that's going to last. I'm going to go and find a hat in a minute because I dyed my hair last night. Mystic violet it is, not mystic purple. But at the minute I can't tell if I've missed bits or it's just because my skin's purple underneath. It looks like I've missed a bit there. But I don't know until I wash it whether that's, the hair's that colour or if it just, my skin's darker underneath and it's making it look like I've missed a bit. Quite possibly have missed a bit, but... Um, yeah, I did that last night after a while Paul was putting the kids to bed. Uh, yeah, yesterday was a busy old day. We baked, I put in some pictures, we made um, Belgian chocolate millionaire shortbread. It was just from a, a kit uh, from Asda. It was only £2, which is pretty good considering it was shortbread, caramel and uh, the chocolate. Well, I was doing that in between boiling potatoes to make roast potatoes, then the shortbread came out and I put the roast potatoes in the oven. Then I went to wait for the shortbread to cool, then we made caramel and poured the caramel on the shortbread. Yeah, Jack was very impatient, trying to get him to not stick his finger in boiling hot caramel. I was like, please don't put your finger in it. It will, it will hurt and it won't come off. <laughs> um, so yes, and then put the chocolate on top, popped it in the fridge while we had tea. It wasn't quite re ready for us to have for pudding, but they had a little bit before they went to bed. And they're taking some to school today and taking a piece each for their teachers. There wasn't loads or I'd have taken it into work. Um, I did get asked where it was. I thought like, I made millionaire shop register. Yes, and where is it? Like, There's not enough for all of you. And one woman went, well, as long as it's one piece, you just bring it for me. I'm like, how, how do I, you know. I was like, I'm not, in I'll just put it on the floor and let you fight over it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm in snow. At least it's more of a snowy, you can expect snow in February. Not like, last year, the year before, it snowed in April. No, no. So, I took this to work with me this morning thinking I might get a chance in the car, but I didn't. Where is my hook? I'll show you where it is there. So I'm working on the Just Feel Festive wrap. Um, that's all I felt like working on last night, really. But Jack um, is going to have a look at some of the patterns I've got and pick something for me to make for his teacher for like his leaving present in July. But I said I might as well do it now. Well, I've not got anything pressing to make um, because by the time he finishes, I'll be in craft fair prep. So. So, working on the Just Feel Festive, I am in the fourth ball, and it's, I don't know, I don't know how to do it, because obviously it goes from this end, and to here is not its full length, to like the other, the other end of the, it's like on a bias, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's lovely, I could, I'll wrap it around my neck, but it, I can't leave it there for long because it makes me itch. But let me do it this way. So if you're gonna do it as a scarf, it's not, it's long enough to like tuck into your coat, uh, but not long enough to, not to dangle really. I don't think it'll be hugely long because I've only got one full ball and that much left. But I think it'd be nice and cozy. It's got wool in it. What's the content? I can't remember. 50% wool, 50% acrylic. Well, it's very pretty colours. This is the um, Derren Moore's Toscana, uh, and there's the colour. This is the stuff that Pearl sent to me. Hi, Pearl. Um, a while ago, I made a, I told you, didn't I, before I made a short for my friend. What short was it? Was it Holy Smokes? Or Smoke on the Water? One of Rosina's. Hi, Rosina. Uh, Zines and Roger, one of her patterns. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought I'd just make this because it's grannies and you, you know you don't really have to concentrate that much. Um, but there, there may be an ammy on the hook um, later today. Depends. Um, I was uh, 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 considering exercising when I get back from fetching the kids. I've got a banging headache. 
maybe some fresh air will clear it. Or the concentration of not falling on my bum when I'm out there picking the kids up. <laughs> that might help or it might make it worse, I don't know. Um, work wasn't very busy, uh, China or not back. We've not had any sort of official word as to if Chinese New Year's been extended. Because we got one of the shipping lines said it would be the 17th of February before they're back. And that's almost, I think they went on holiday on the 24th of Jan. I think some of our offices are trying to get people in. But obviously if they're in an area where they can't can't leave the house, they can't get to work. So I don't know where, where we stand with it all. But anyway, so that's all I've got to show you really. My purple head. <laughs> And um, a bit of progress on the Just Feel Festive. There are kids going past cycling and they are just drenched, bless them. They're getting nowhere in the slush, it's just like spinning their wheels. I'm glad Tevin's on his bike. Anyway, I'm going to go and fetch him and, and then we're going to hunker, hunker down, bunker down. We're going to stay inside and um, yeah, I might not exercise. We'll see how my head feels. Um, but yeah, cozying up with a cup of tea and crocheting sounds like a plan. So I hope everybody is okay. What day are we on? It's the 10th today. Oh, it's Paul's mum and sister's birthday. Can you imagine having a child on your birthday? Yes. So Charlie, his sister, is 23 today. She's so beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, and his mum is, I won't say, because she wouldn't be very happy with me. <laughs> She's 21, uh, again, but yeah, so happy birthday to Karen and Charlie, I hope you're having a lovely day, it's snowing on your birthday, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go find my hat, because my hair will run, I'm going to go get the boys, so I hope you're having a good day, I hope you're safe wherever you are, and the weather's not too crummy, and if you have to drive, be careful, <laughs> it's like an inch of slush or whatever, and the country will go into shutdown. Whereas, like, Amber's got God knows how many feet of snow. Hi, Amber. And they're just getting on with things. <laughs> anyway, I will see you all later. Uh, take care, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.